So I am making myself an Eggs McNeighbor. Kevin doesn't want any this morning. And then he's going to read me some comments from our vlog yesterday. Because I haven't looked at anything yet. So he's going to do that. And we're gonna. I'm going to relax a little bit until we have to go to my next doctor's appointment today at 2 o'clock. So <sighs> there's Kevin in there right now. Hey. Hey, let me zoom in on you. Okay, now say hey. Hey. You look like you got like a stylish haircut. Yeah. With it kind of. I need to cut my hair, I think. <laughs> it's been two months. I think it looks good. <laughs> okay. Okay, it is 1.33 and we are making a mad dash because I fell asleep and I have a two o'clock doctor's appointment and I was supposed to be there, I believe, at 1.30 because there's paperwork I need to fill out. So we are just leaving my house. Luckily, the doctor's appointment or the doctor's office is only, um, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Like 10 minutes away. Maybe, maybe sooner, depending on how I drive. <laughs> sooner, depending on how crazy Kevin drives and the construction and traffic that's going on all around town right now. So, uh, I have a major headache from waking up out of a deep sleep yelling, Kevin, what time is it? Jumping up brushing my hair because I didn't have time to do anything else brush my hair brush my teeth throw on some clothes and um, grab the phone grab the camera grab my purse and out the door so ah, yuck I hate brushing like this but I gotta make this appointment this is a very important appointment so um, we're on our way let's keep our fingers crossed I can still get there and get the paperwork filled out and see the doctor. What do you have to say about forgetting to wake me up there, mister? Well, I was busy looking for a job. <laughs> I was online doing all kinds of stuff, which is why I'm getting that. I was on some website looking for a job and they kept saying, you, you really want to go get back to school in this career college, don't you? And I kept saying no. And the next page it would ask me again. And then it just uh, it decided to call me anyway. Yeah, I got while I was sleeping his phone. So you know that uh, yeah, this is a bogus website when they start harassing you like that. And uh, I got it through the um, Cal Jobs state government. So and they have of course they have flags all over there. Things to beware of. Uh, uh, railroad tracks. Uh, not railroad tracks. That was railroad tracks that we went over. <laughs> Stop! Did it say beware I just, of railroad tracks? <laughs> I just woke up. <laughs> it just said beware of scams. Yes, beware of scams. So, but I know better than. <laughs> He's got to pick on me. I just woke up. <laughs> Picking on you is fun. <laughs> Wait, I gotta go to the bathroom. Can we stop right here? <laughs> have to climb the fence there. Well, we would probably make it in enough time if there wasn't all this construction and traffic going on around here. However, it's slowing us down. We will make it by two, not a problem, but I was supposed to be there early to fill out paperwork, so hopefully they don't get too upset with me. Yes. Yes, as Kevin told you all yesterday, I am stressing over some things um, going on with my doctors right now, and this doesn't help. <laughs> I'm trying to laugh about it, but yes, I'm stressed about it. And he's stopping us. Why is he stopping us? Machinery coming through. Oh, there. See? He's got a little stop sign. And he's stopping us because I think 
Oh, are you coming out? Or are you staying in? And, and they're probably talking about the fact that I have a camera in my hand. Hi, smile, you're on candid camera. Hey guys, so I'm a little upset. I don't know if you could tell I've been crying, but we rushed all around and came flying up here to my doctor's appointment, which I thought was a doctor's one-on-one -on -one appointment. And we get here and we find out that it's a class. And Kevin and I both were kind of angry or upset. Kevin was angry, I was more upset because it was supposed to be a one-on-one. -on -one. And I talked to the, the lady who was in, instructing the class and she looked it up and she said, yeah, you already have the referral for the doctor. I don't know how you even got into this class. So we don't know what happened and I'm still waiting now um, to get the appointment with the doctor that I thought this was. So she did give me a number to call and say that I do have the referral from my doctor and that I need to see the doctor and uh, not um, to be scheduled for a class. So anyway, what do you have to say? <laughs> I don't have anything to say. I'm kind of angry. It was really dumb. Every time we, we sat there, said, well, we don't want to be here. This We don't need a class. This is kind of pointless. We don't need a class. Well, she wasn't trying to and, get us to so stay. Well, they kept saying, where do you want to sit? Why don't you sit here? So we're not staying. I think she was, that one lady didn't know what was going on. But once the, the instructor of the class came in, she was very helpful. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, uh, this was just an annoying... <laughs> Nothing accomplished, guys. I'm still stressing out and upset now. So, we're going to go try and find something to eat and uh, just relax a little bit since we're out before we head home. Catch you guys a little later. So, did you find a movie for us to watch? Yeah, it might be good. It looks interesting. It has a bit of an old uh, 80s horror film feel to it. Called abandoned mine. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm gonna sit here and I'm just gonna veg while I watch it. I'm not gonna think of anything. Okay. Bye. Bye. Help you. Uh, can I help you? Is it dinner time? Was that just your way of coming in here and telling him, hey, pay attention? I don't know why he's loving on me today. I don't know. He just had a nasty hack attack. I think he ate a cricket. Yeah, don't do that. Him and Ebony Bowles and they eat crickets. That's what they do. Sound asleep. Sleeps in the weirdest positions. Hey everybody, um, we're gonna end the vlog like this tonight. We're not gonna do shout outs. Um, a lot of you have heard um, that I'm kind of been stressed out from some test results that I got back from the doctors, and I'm kind of not in a good spot right now. Uh, I'll have Kevin explain more because I always try and keep a smile on my face and keep my head up and it's hard for me right now so I'm going to let Kevin talk. Yeah, so um, on top of all of Val's other issues that she has, and she has quite a few, um, we're now looking at uh, type 2 diabetes. And um, this is something that we are told is a possibility, but uh, we got the the uh, blood results the other day. Doctors are not in, uh, saying anything yet because they insist on getting two tests before they they will diagnose it. But it looks actually the doctor did say the blood tests show diabetes. Yes, but they must.
test twice just to make sure it's not a mistake and they're going to wait two weeks to do it. All right. So they're so, not treating me for diabetes yet, but they yeah. said that I did test positive for type 2 diabetes, but they have to do two, they have to have two readings. So we definitely need to look at um, uh, a new diet for Val, and we were supposed to see a doctor today about her diet, and we ended up going to a class, some bizarre class of some sort, which, which makes, sort of uh, puts insult to injury. I was pretty angry when we uh, got out of there, like, really, in class, uh, no, we need to see a doctor, we need to know exactly what, what she needs to do uh, to try to get back to her health. Seems like one thing after another, surgery, 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 uh, bad news, surgery, surgery, and uh, we're both trying to keep positive. Uh, I'm still unemployed, so that's making things even worse for us. Uh, uh, financially, we're getting uh, very, very tight and tight and tight. Um, so uh, if it wasn't for my mom, uh, we probably would have lost the house by now, but um, I'm still looking it's been two months and um, I haven't even been close enough to getting an, an interview at this point so uh, we hate ending things on a downer but uh, that's how we feel today there's really not much else that we could say uh, I'll be working on the other uh, ghost vlog tonight and uh, we'll be back tomorrow and hopefully we won't be such downers so this is how we're gonna end it time for neighborhood community credit roll and you are all part of our neighborhood community each and every one of you we would not be here if it weren't for you all out there we love you all so very much thumbs up we'll see you all tomorrow don't forget to check out the neighborhood zoo paranormal investigations with the neighbors pin and we'll see you tomorrow with bright, shiny faces. I'm not getting rid of the beard. <laughs>